What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review today and today we're going to take a look at the Limitless RDTA by iJoy and Limitless. Like they co came together and made this, yeah, RDTA. Anyways guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know that. That's probably why you're watching this video because you already know what I'm going to review. So, without further ado, I will tell you guys a little bit about it. It is 24 millimeters in diameter, so it's not going to fit on your 22 millimeter devices, but uh, holds 5 mils of e-juice. It states on the package it's 4 mils, but it's not. It holds more than 4 mils. It holds closer to 5 than it does to 4, so I'd say like 4.5, maybe 4.9. Eight mils somewhere in that area so anyways guys before I get into the nitty and the gritty of this RDTA let me tell you guys that the FDA wants to ban 99% of the vapor products currently out on the market please follow Safada notblowingsmoke.org vapingmilitia.org and go to CASA so please support your right to vape. I will leave links in the description as I always do. Also, write your congressmen and your legislators and your representatives for your state. All you gotta do is go to august8.org and it will go ahead and it will leave you it will lead you to an already pre-written note to, that you can send to to them. All you gotta do is tell them to support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. Guys, come on, let's band together, fight this together. Stand up to the FDA or else nothing that I'm about to review is going to matter anyway. So thank you so much and please do your part, guys. Please. So without further ado, guys, let's get down to the nitty and the gritty of the Limitless RDTA by iJoy. Hey then, guys. Now we are here with the Limitless RDTA packaging by iJoy and Limitless Mod Company. As you guys can see, you guys can pause this if you guys want to take a minute to read up on it. It is a two-post deck, has adjustable pen with peak insulator, hybrid compatibility, innovative cotton reservoirs, 4 mil juice capacity, even though it's a little bit more than 4 mils, innovative filling, adjustable airflow, and a Delrin chuff cap. So, yeah, pretty simple, pretty simple. Disclaimer. Go ahead and get into it get into the nitty and the gritty of it now in your little baggie here you do get some extra o-rings and your little o-rings are extra collar ones now i swapped mine out the black ones with the red ones they do give you some twisted wire two uh allen keys i don't know why they give you two but they give you two one does not fit the other one does and they also give you like this 510 adapter so well, it's not a 510 adapter. I apologize for saying that. I'm sorry. So basically what it does is, as you guys can see, this little chuff here. Really, really small. Just fits in there. Kind of gives it an extender. Kind of. I call it the nip tip. Giggity, giggity. Anyways, guys. Here is the Limitless RDTA. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Co-designed by iJoy and Limitless Mod Company in California. Long 510. Definitely hybrid compatibility here. Which it makes sense because the Limitless is a hybrid. The Limitless Mod. So definitely makes sense there. Do have your adjustable airflow here. Which is a nice little knurling thing here. Now there is no single coil option. So that's a bummer. But it is what it is I usually dual coil it anyway so what you have on one side is the same on the other side go ahead and pop this off here as you guys can see here she is a little wet I did have to clean her out so she is a little moist here is your velocity style build deck here as your cotton wick goes down in there dual o-ring and as you guys can see that little fill port right here that is where you fill your e-liquid which I actually do like that I like this way of filling it it's really easy since you kind of do kind of tilt it back and you kind of fill it up and it makes it a little bit easier so it is fully you can fully take apart take it apart as you can see you can take this o-ring off replace it with just the all black one same same thing here i just put it on there because i'm running my vt75 with it 
So I'm matchy matchy. So that pops off. Your glass does come off, but I don't want to go through the hassle of pulling that apart and having to re-lube it. So it is a bummer. They do not give you an extra glass piece. So that is kind of a bummer here. It is pretty much dual o-ring on the bottom along with that red o-ring on the very very bottom so i have not had any problems with it leaking but hey pretty good pretty good nice and long so when i do my cotton here i don't know if i'm gonna really show you guys this but i might do a build so i kind of do have my cotton just a little bit below probably about the halfway mark of the glass that's where i do it in order to put it back together, you just simply screw it back on. Blam. Blam. And you're good to go. So, let me go ahead, put a build on this bad boy, and I'll show you guys how I wick it. Alright guys, so I used their twisted wire that they gave me. It ended up oming out at .36. So, let me go ahead and... What I like to do is take this bad boy off. If I can get this thing to focus for me. I got some snipped organo cotton. Go ahead and wick her up. To roll her up. I like to do the little pull. That way I make sure it's not too loose, not too tight. Vice versa on the same side here. So I got some mini muffin man here. I'm gonna get I've been get trying this juice out here lately and it's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm being a little sloppy about it, but hey, don't judge me. Kind of want to stick it in here. Kind of want to measure it out here. As you guys can see right here about the halfway mark of the glass. That's the way that I like to do it. Kind of want to fluff her up. Really helps out with the wicking. Kind of thin her out a little bit. Snip the fuzzies. Like old Mike Vapes does. Alright. Now I just tuck her in here. Take this little bad boy, screw her on down in there. That way I got just a little bit of cotton poking down through the bottom. Not all the way, halfway mark. You can go ahead and fill her on up. Then I like to put a little bit on the top here, get her nice and moist, get her ready so I don't have to get a nice dry hit. And there we go, guys. She is ready for vapage. Let's go back to FaceTime Vape on it. Talk about it, guys. Alright, guys, that was the nitty and the gritty of the Limitless RDTA by iJoy and Limitless. So, what are my pros and my cons? Alright, my pros... Love the build quality. I love that it comes in black and stainless steel. I love the looks of it. I love the extra O-ring color options that you got. I wish it would be a little bit more in red. But, hey, they're there. If they're there, you know, black matches everything, right? So, also, I really enjoy the airflow on this guy. 
I mean, hey, I get great flavor, great clouds. I mean, I can't complain here. I think it's really, really good. You can use it as a dripper if you want, you know. Even though you got the juice down here in the bottom, you can still drip through the top, get your juice, get your vape. Uh, see here, cons. There's two cons for this device that I have personally. Now, my cons might not be your cons, but got to mention them. Now, my con here is that it does not come with an extra glass in the packaging. That is a bummer. Ugh, sorry. I got a burp. Does not come with an extra glass, which is a really big bummer to me because, you know, I'm, I'm a clumsy dude and I work in a factory. So if I end up breaking the glass, then what, what's going to happen? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be SOL, man. So, I don't like that. I'm definitely bummed out about that. So, I wish it came with an extra glass. Also, another con, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about it, is it does not have a 510 adapter, which is a bummer. You, you are pretty much stuck with this chuff and this little extender doohickey, which is kind of a bummer because I would like to throw on my drip tips or make it my personal own setup look. So you can't really do that, and it's kind of a bummer. I don't really like the whole concept of not having a 510 ad adapter thing. It would have been nice if they would have included that. Um, you would have thought they would have kind of thought about that. But, hey, it is what it is. Ain't nothing I can do about what they put in the packaging. I'm just stating opinions here. So, anyways, guys, other than that, I don't really have any cons. Now, I'm going to have to compare it to the Avocado 24 to see which one I like better. Hopefully I'll do like a comparison video maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. So anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for the nitty and the gritty.